Welcome to the Violet Realm. My name's Amy, and I'm so glad you're here. Good morning. I hope you slept well. All right, so, um, yeah, let's get a couple cards here. Sorry, I didn't mean to read on the table. I feel like this is going to be a love reading with a general love reading for the collective. Um, I think we all know that 80% of us or more are having a hard time right now, so uh, let's focus on love. How are things going in love for you guys? Yeah, a lot of times we learn lessons in our, um, you know, with our partners. And love can be family too, but I'm feeling this is romantic, so. All right, there's a card. I'm going to kind of pull some cards first, and then I'll flip them over so I can get the energy all at one time. Sometimes I do that, sometimes I don't. It just depends. And uh, I'm filming a, a couple of readings in a batch, so they're wanting me to switch energy. And I kind of, that's how I switch the energy. I know people wonder how cards get read and stuff like that, so that's why I'm explaining it. I'm an intuitive reader. I'm a psychic reader. I do know what the cards mean. I also, but I attend to what spirit tells me. So I'm a channel. <clears throat> and I don't know everything, okay? <laughs> I'm not the end-all be-all. I just bring through what spirit has. That was my first task to learn as someone who has gifts, and you may be called to do that. You may be called to learn how to just open up and receive. That's really powerful when you do that from spirit. So, all right, one card, please. Okay, that one. All right, and let's get some tarot. My eyes are being drawn to the uh, Nightmare Before Christmas deck, and I did a love reading recently with this deck, so I use, using them as the cards that we selected, you know, the pick a card. So I hadn't done a pick a card in a while, so uh, you might check that out. I am going to be doing a, another Oracle of Lilith reading, but because of my own personal situation, it kind of knocked me off my game a little bit. Like the other day I was talking about in the um, in one of the daily energies, don't let, don't let things knock you off your game. I have to work at it too to stay focused so it you know we're all human we're doing the best we can wow that's interesting okay i'm gonna flip him over i don't want to connect with that energy until we're that is a powerful card i don't know if you saw that but that is the uh pumpkin king and that's a powerful powerful card okay let's go ahead and flip all this over and see where we're at okay creativity and Never make permanent decisions on temporary feelings. Yes, I feel that. So uh, for those of you who this is romantic and this res resonates that way, it's really important to um, to honor your feelings, uh, especially in a relationship and if you feel like you've been done wrong or whatever. It's really important to um, express that and let people know you're hurting. A lot of people don't let other people know they're hurting. They, they just hurt in silence. And um, we're here to help each other. And if there are people around you who aren't willing to help you, then it's time for some new people, okay? And that can be hard. Well, I got six, so I need to get one more. Okay. All right. Hope you guys can see these. Okay, yeah. Okay. Um, wow. So with the, this uh, needles card here, I'm feeling a lot of um, healing, like self-reflection. You can see Sally looking at herself. She's got a needle pulling out of her arm like in the movie. And um, Sally's actually a really healing character. If you if you never watched Nightmare Before Christmas, uh, she's really there for Jack. And uh, she shows her love for him by being truthful and honest. Honest about where what's going on, you know, and he doesn't always want to listen to her, but he really should, right? We have two kings here and the fool. Yeah, the four of potions, the three of presents, and it's coming together. That's what I'm getting. It's It really is coming together, all right? Uh, a lot of times our relationships, you can do one of two things in a relationship when something comes up. You can... Um, be in denial about it or you can reflect about it and uh, sometimes people mistake a state of reflection for um, smoothing something over or um, being in denial but the truth is is that many of us are reflecting before we speak and that's because spirit doesn't want us to um, 
to mess something up based upon emotions that are being purged right now. And a lot of these emotions might leave a partner feeling um, confused because uh, you may seem off a little bit because you are, because you're human and things happen. And, you know, we have physical pain sometimes or we have um, mental struggles and we have doubt in ourselves. All of us have hidden fears. And uh, when you're with powerful soulmates or that twin flame energy, a lot of times they reveal that to you somehow, maybe not even directly, but indirectly. And I feel like it's time to talk about it. You know, there's a lot of strength in this connection, this fool here, believing Jack, walking in the forest. Um, and what I'm seeing is those trees that had each season open and um, like standing there and reflecting on what season of life am I am in? Where am I at? And uh, yeah, and I think for a lot of people, there's a need to take your emotions and apply them to your creativity. Apply them to your skill or trade. Put, it, put your emotion into your work. Uh, you will find that a lot of times your work takes off. It takes it on into a whole new level. And I feel like for a lot of people, that these clearing events, these events of purging, these emotional events can really be used to help uh, deepen connections because you become more real and your relationship becomes more real and to deepen your um, your ability, whatever that is. Everyone's got different abilities, but I feel like a lot of the people, and I've noticed a lot of my followers on different platforms, they're very creative. A lot of, I have a lot of like people who play music. I have a lot of people who write. I have a lot of people who um, do artistic things or work in an artistic way. Being a medical doctor can be artistic. You know, it just, be creative. It's the way you think. Creativity is the way you think and apply emotion in the world. And um, thinking outside the box, people in all sorts of businesses have to think outside the box. So um, in our personal relationships can really be great fuel to help um, us get where we need to be with our work, where we want to be, what we want to be doing. And I feel like um, our partners can help us understand our own doubt and our own weakness, but they also can really help pump up our strengths. And so if you're with someone who is positive and who helps you, but who may be struggling to understand what you're going through because y'all are different, allow the energy between you two to be healing and be brave. I'm getting this, be brave and share, okay? Because there's strength here. Be brave, and if you are going through a hard time, don't be afraid that your partner's going to leave because you're going to talk about it, okay? If you want to have a grown-up, mature relationship, you're going to have to open up more, okay? I'm getting that very strongly. I see like I see like a mother with her finger, like you are going to have to open up more if you want a grown-up relationship, okay? It's just the way it is, you know? Um, the time to stop hiding who we are and our struggles from our partners is over, if you want a true, uh, deep connection, you have to be willing to talk. And this helps diffuse situations. When you open up and tell somebody, hey, listen, this is what's going on, and you know, I'm having a difficult time in life, your partner will understand 99% of the time. They'll be like, oh yeah, well, things happen. And I'm getting some, some hits on being your authentic self, okay? And that means your sad self, your happy self, your not okay self, your angry self, but try not to take your anger out on other people um, because that that can create stagnancy in a relationship. So um, put your anger in positive places and that's why creativity keeps coming up because creativity, uh, work out, um, whatever you need to do, discuss it with somebody, record it on your phone and delete it, but get it out of your system. Get out those emotions, okay? Do not allow negative or sad or melancholy to make the choices for you. Because a lot of times when we make choices from that place, we end up really screwing ourselves over, right? Sometimes it's really hard to be our authentic self because we've been through so much. And when there are times when some of us have been our authentic self and people haven't liked it. They don't like who you really are. That's how you might feel. But the truth is, it's not that people don't like who you are, really. It's that they don't, they want to be that too. They want to be able to be who they really are and remove their mask. 
there's something that happens in a connection with another person when you completely expose yourself, okay? You open up the ante to having a really deep life transformation kind of relationship, okay? And I think that's what Spirit's trying to bring through for many people, is learning that you're not an island and uh, the walls need to come down, especially with what we're going through as a planet, as a collective, you know? Um, it's really important that we um, become vulnerable to one another. That's how we grow. Uh, yeah, it's how we, it's almost like, this is what I'm kidding. I get some of the weirdest things from my guides. It's almost like, you know, uh, being a player for, you know, 20 years. And then one day you start to grow up. You start to realize that you want more than what's superficial. That uh, anyone can have a superficial relationship, but you want something deep. And in order to get to that deep place, you have to go deep. You have to be willing to remove all, all the life jackets, okay, and dive deep. And it's scary. It's scary because you may not know how long you can hold your breath. But the magical thing is you're going to learn you can breathe under, underwater. And you may breathe a lot better. <laughs> the water here is symbolizing emotion. So uh, a lot of us are scared of emotion because the emotions we have have been so powerful and somewhat negative and troubling but beyond that if you can feel that much negativity and that much depression and sadness and anger you can also feel the exact opposite of that happiness freedom joy creativity connection so if that idea could really come home and um, if you can really take that into your heart chakra into your mind and understand that you can do it. You absolutely can do it. You can get vulnerable. And, you know, if you get vulnerable with somebody and they um, they attack you or uh, they're not there for you, you have found out what you need to know. And you can either find out why that's such a problem for them or you found out that, hey, maybe it's not your person. Maybe our time together has ended because they can't deal with the real me. And it's better to know that and move on and let go than to continue to be in a relationship where everyone's wearing a mask and we're all pretending to be somebody we're not, okay? Um, it's real connection, all right? And I, I, it's, it's not easy. It's not easy to be vulnerable. But it's worth it. That dream relationship, that powerful soulmate, twin flame connection that many people are trying to manifest it's not like uh, it just shows up and everything's perfect all the time. You're together because you both are trying to get to a deeper place, usually. It's not easy. <laughs> it's not easy. But, you know, throw off the life vest, okay? It's all right. Jump in the water. I will say it's important when you, if you haven't been closed off, to your person, it's important that you not overwhelm somebody, okay, with too much emotion. So it's good to reflect on your emotion, journal it, whatever you need to do, uh, go talk to a tree about it or your dog, whatever you need to do to kind of work it out in your mind. I know for me, writing down how I'm feeling brings me clarity. So um, work it out before you bring it to someone. That way they don't feel overwhelmed by it because you don't want to trigger them to be overwhelmed. You want to trigger connection not a, a sense of, oh my gosh, I, I don't know if I can help. I don't know, how do I help this? This is so bad. You know what I'm saying? So, all right, I'm going to get three of these cards. Maybe, you know what, they're pulling me. To some, so we'll get one of these and see where we go. This one, okay. Soul Song, all right. I like that card. That's a cool card because it, it, it's about uh, frequency, music, and it's about allowing your the frequency of your soul because I believe everything has frequency. Everything is energy, all right? So allowing your frequency to come forward, the truth of you, not the music, <laughs> you know, not the elevator music, but the real music of who you are, all right, to come forward, the real frequency of you. And that's what part of this is. It's helping to build, and you know, this is interesting. Between two people, that each person has a frequency, and then between you two people, when you come into contact, you create a new frequency together. That is unique. It's like a unique signature. Potions and spells. All right, 
I'll read that in a minute. I'm going to get one more card. I'm going to get a Ganesh card. I haven't been using these as much. For a while, my guides were like, don't use those cards. <laughs> They're very, like, insistent on some cards. Put them aside. So they told me to bring them back out. Okay, potions and spells is a 28, reducing to a 10, which reduces to a 1, which is the beginning and the ending and the beginning of a cycle. It's that crossroads moment uh, I talked about in, uh, I think, in a reading recently. Okay, spiritual practice. All right. So, how do you come forward? How do you get brave enough to do that? Well, okay, sorry, I got tongue-tied, so I cut that part. <laughs> All right, potions and spells. A pinch of this, a dash of that. Be sure you're sure before you call. So, that's just another uh, card of reflect before you share. Okay, especially powerful emotions. If you want to tell your person that you're going through a difficult time because of something tragic or whatever going on that that's happened to you and you're kind of dealing with those emotions, you know, be honest. If you're angry because they did something, be honest, but take time with it so it's not explosive. You don't want people to think that the emotions got the best of you and you're making decisions from just an emotional place. You want people to know that you have taken time to reflect about it. It's important enough it's important enough for you to reflect and share. Uh, then we have spiritual practice. We have 19 reducing to a 10, which reduces to a one, which is again, the end of a cycle and the beginning of a new one. Then we have 41 reducing to a five, which is change. So there are big changes coming, spiritual practice. So spiritual practice can, for some people, it's, it's literally like a daily, practice that may last an hour and a half or something like that so and for others it's five minutes of just taking a time to breathe in and out and be present okay whatever kind of practice that you have that brings you peace and calm that is a guidance to go with okay because that peace and calm will help you not make decisions um rashly okay and not lash out okay because i feel like there's a lot of people who there's so much energy building within that there is a, um, there may be a tendency to try to, you know, yell, lash out, say things maybe you don't mean because, um, or they, they to you flip, flip the uh, switch there on whichever, whichever person. Um, a lot of people in the last year or so have developed these practices that give them peace because of the chaos in the world, having to be home all the time, not being used to that. It kind of made many people go within to like a hermit status where they got connected to the things that really feed them to keep them going through times of isolation. And now we are not as isolated right now, uh, even though this is timeless reading. Uh, we're not as isolated now, but there are things going on around us that may make us feel very alone. And in those moments when you feel alone, it's really good to reconnect to those practices, whatever they are. It could be running. It just, it depends. Whatever helped you get through some really difficult times. And we're talking positive things. We're not talking like destructive things. These are, these are activities that brought you uh, positive changes or just a positive state at a bad time. Okay. So, and for some of you, it's important that you share what you do, the, the spiritual, mental practice you do with your partner. You know, um, let them know that you're working at trying to balance this energy out. Because if you have powerful things to say that might unnerve them in some way, it's good for them to know that you are working on it. You're taking care of it. You're taking care of yourself. You are getting clarity. You're seeking clarity. That's really powerful. And soul song here, we're talking about frequency. And we're talking about changing with the five here, changing a frequency. Uh, ascension. This is part of ascension. Ascension isn't all sitting down and having tea, you know, with uh, the forest creatures and, uh, you know, uh, the elves running around and singing. It, it, ascension is work and it's difficult because we are in this human vessel dealing with a lot of really um, nitty gritty situations. And it can feel really overwhelming and it, it can really get you in touch with a lot of your anger. And uh, for a lot of us, we were taught that anger isn't a good emotion. And that's just not true. Anger has a reason for being. Anger helps us release, all right? And um, sadness as well. So don't judge yourself for how you feel, okay? They're emotions. 
and we all have them and we all feel different ranges of emotions at a time. So um, be patient with yourself and don't make rash decisions based upon your emotions. Take time to whatever practice you do and get a handle on your mind, get a handle on your thoughts, be willing to reflect on them, be willing to sit in the emotion for a little bit, okay? Don't oppress it, don't repress it, and um, set your intention. I'm feeling with potions and spells um, a lot about intention, about really connecting with whatever spiritual practice you have, your guides. I'm really learning to listen. They may even tell you why this is happening, okay? A lot of times when we're having a really difficult time, after they see that we have been seeking and we've gotten aligned with the practice or whatever we do that helps us get through stuff, a lot of times they'll come forward and say, you know why this is happening, blah, 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 blah. You know, and that'll be different for everybody. So just be open to uh, intuitive hits and um, those uh, synchronicities because spirit will tell you what this is about. They really will. But a lot of us have to first get there and ask the question. And a lot of times you can't ask the question if you're deep in emotion. All right. So be good to yourself and um, be good to your partner. You know, if you have a partner who's been there for you, who is a, a positive force in your life, then by all means, you know, uh, give gratitude. Tell them how thankful you are for them. Gratitude's powerful and it can really change your frequency as well. Um, a lot of times we forget to tell people in our lives who are really important how much they mean to us. And this is a really good time to do that. And you may be like, Amy, but I'm angry. But you may be angry, but you also know that person is still there. Okay? Especially after you open up. They remain there. Have gratitude because, you know, a lot of people can't go deep. But you're learning how to go deep. I'm learning how to go deep. Maybe deeper, maybe you are deep and you're learning how to deep dive even more. And that's a beautiful thing to be able to really go into your emotion, um, reflect on it, experience it and release it and um, tell the person closest to your heart about it and let them heal you. Listening to someone's pain is very healing. It's very validating, okay? So, but give those people in your life who've been there for you kudos you know say thank you it's very powerful the universe likes that and a lot of times when we start getting into that attitude of gratitude for the people in our lives um more people come and more opportunity comes more good things come i'm not saying they come the next day it takes time because we've got to align people and people have free will and they can say no so sometimes the people that um, spirit's trying to align us with actually turn into different people because those people had issues and so they're trying to align us as quickly as possible so all right guys that's what i got for today i hope this resonated if it did or it didn't please leave me a comment in the comment section down below i'd love to hear from you guys i hope you have a beautiful day and i will see you next time bye guys